How's it going, people? Got some more of that Sam Adams Blackberry. Got two bottles of that left. And another beer in backup. Mmm. -mm. My, my. Oh, I kind of got all smoky in here. How'd that happen? Oh. God, this even smells wonderful. It smells like blackberries. Chapter 18. Of Mosiah. And we're still in flashback mode. Um, uh, still, they're still uh, reading that the gold book, uh, going back to the king of uh, time of King Noah. <laughs> All right, we'll find out why they were in bondage to these uh, Lamanites, and hopefully, this narrative will connect back up with where it left off. I seem to recall that it does. But this is a very forgettable book. And now, it came to pass that Alma, who had fled from the servants of King Noah, that said, <laughs> when they were killing Abinadi, they decided to let him go and hunt him. <laughs> Even though they already had him and they could have just kept him and killed him. But no, they decided to have sport with uh, Alma. <laughs> uh, and now it came to pass that Alma, who had fled from the servants of King Noah, repented of his sins and, iniquity, and iniquities, and went about privately among the people and began to teach the words of Abinadi. Especially that last stirring speech while he was on fire. He's one of the most articulate burning men I've ever heard of. I mean, I don't think anyone recorded uh, any lively speech from uh, Joan of Arc. <laughs> or Bruno or any of those. Uh, people that met a similar fate. Yea, concerning that which was to come. And also concerning... The Resurrection of the Dead. Sounds scary. <laughs> and the redemption of the people which was to be brought to pass. Brought to pass, close enough. Didn't highlight that one. Missed it. brought to pass through the power and sufferings and death of Christ. Something to look forward to, because it hasn't happened yet. They need to get their crystal ball uh, adjusted. The death of Christ and his resurrection and ascension into heaven Pretty cool for somebody who hasn't even been born yet. And as many as would hear his word, he did pre uh, he did teach, and he taught them privately. We get that you already said it. That it might not come to the knowledge of the king, and many did believe his words, because there's one born every minute. Mm. Might have to get some more of that. And it came to pass that as many as did believe him uh, did go forth to a place which was called Mormon, having received its name from the king, being in the borders of the land, having been infested by times or at seasons 
by wild beasts of an unknown, unknown sort. Maybe they're talking about Bigfoot or something. <laughs> now, there was in Mormon a fountain of pure water. And Alma resorted thither, there being near the water a thicket of small trees where he did hide himself in the daytime from the searches of the king. And it came to pass that as many as believed in him went thither to hear his words. <clears throat> And it came to pass, after many days, there were, a, were, there were a goodly number gathered together at the place of Mormon. <coughs> to hear the words of Alma, yea, all were gathered together that believed in his word to hear him. And he did teach them and did preach unto them repentance and redemption and faith on the Lord. Uh. And it came to pass that he said unto them, Behold, here are the waters of Mormon. For thus they were called. In parentheses. Okay. That's why they called them that, because they were called that. Uh, it's so circular, it would make your head spin. And now, as ye are desirous to come into the fold of God, and to be called his people, it's nice to belong, isn't it? But unfortunately, to belong, you got to be owned. And are willing to bear one another's burdens. Shades of the Book of Acts. That they might be light. Yea, and are willing to mourn with those that mourn. Yea, and comfort those that stand in need <coughs> oh, of comfort. And to stand as witnesses of God at all times and in all things. And in all places that ye may be in even un until the death of until death, that ye may be redeemed of God, and be numbered with those of the first resurrection, and ye may have eternal life. Now I say unto you, if this be the desire of your hearts, what have you against being baptized in the name of the Lord? as a witness before him, that ye have entered into a covenant with him, that ye will serve him and keep his commandments, that he may pour out his spirit more abundantly upon you. Yeah, here's a little arterial spray in the face. Don't say I never gave you anything. <laughs> Since he's dying, you may as well dedicate it to all of all those Christians to be and nobody else and now guess what mm. it 
came to pass that Alma took Helam, he being one of the first, and went and stood forth in the water, and cried, saying, O Lord, pour out thy spirit upon thy servant, that he might do his work with holiness of heart. And when he had said these words, the Spirit of the Lord was upon him. And he said, Helam, I baptize thee, having authority from the Almighty God, as a testimony that ye have entered into a covenant to serve him unto you are dead as to the mortal body. Sounds wonderful. And may the Spirit of the Lord be poured out upon you. Uh, and may he grant unto you eternal life. There's that carrot always on the end of the stick. You can never reach it. And then you die. And who knows? Probably nothing. <sighs> that would be tragic to spend your whole life believing this shit. And that's how it turns out. But I guess... Who's gonna bitch? <laughs> uh, through the redemption of Christ, whom he has prepared from the foundation of the world. So he's been like, he made Adam in the beginning, and then he started, actually he made Christ before he made Adam. Yeah. And after Alma had said these words, both Alma and Helam were buried in the water. Talking time. And they arose and came forth out of the water rejoicing, being filled with the Spirit. And again, Alma took another and went forth a second time into the water and baptized him, according to the first. Only he did not bury himself in the water. <laughs> enough of that. Once is enough. Little devil, do you? And after this manner, he did baptize every one of the, uh, everyone that went forth to the place of Mormon. And they were numbered about 204 souls saved that day. Put those on the golden arches. Yay! And they were baptized in the waters of Mormon and were filled with the grace of God. And they were called the Church of God or the Church of Christ for, uh, oh wait, from that time forward. And it came to pass. that whoever was baptized by the power and authority of God was added to his church. And it came to pass that Alma, having authority from God, ordained priests. Even one priest to every fifty of their number did he ordain to preach unto them, O oh, glory, and to teach them concerning the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. And he commanded them that they should teach nothing save it were the things which he had taught and which had been spoken by the mouth of the holy prophets. Yea, even he commanded them that they should preach nothing, save it were repentance and faith on the Lord, 
who had redeemed his people in about, according to the foot, footnote, B.C. 147. That's 147, according to the old terms, before Christ. <coughs> what the fuck, people? And he commanded them that there should be no contention one with another, but that they should look forward with one eye and having one faith and one baptism, having their hearts knit together in unity and in love one towards another. And thus he commanded them to preach. And thus they began, became the children of God, like you already said. And he commanded them that they should observe the Sabbath day and keep it holy. And also every day they should give thanks to the Lord their God. And he also commanded them that the priests whom he had ordained should labor with their own hearts for their support. And there was one day in every week that was set apart that they should gather themselves together to teach the people and to worship the Lord their God, and also, as often as it was in their power, to assemble themselves together. Can't get enough of this old-time, new-time religion. And the priests were not to depend upon the people for their support, but for their labor they were to receive the grace of God, that they might wax strong in the Spirit, having the knowledge of God, that they might teach with power and authority from God. And again, Alma commanded that the people of the church should impart of their substance. Yeah, we keep going on about that now, don't we? Everyone according to that which he had. About 10% gross, I believe. That's all they want. That's all they'll ask for. And then volunteer a bunch of your free time. Do work. I've seen it. <sighs> Everyone according to that which he had, if he had more abundantly, he should impart more abundantly. Stands the reason. And of him that had but a little, but a little should be required, like the widow's might. <laughs> and to him that had not, should be given. Yeah, no problem. Give to the deadbeat. And thus they should impart of their substance, going on a bit about this, uh, uh, of their own free will and good desires towards God. Today they got ATM machines and churches that don't give out money. I guess you just put Gives you a receipt and you put that in the plate when it goes by. <laughs> you get a chit. <sighs> of their own free will and good desires towards God and good desires towards. Wait. And, and to those priests that stood in need. Yay! And to every soul, every needy, naked soul. And the, uh, this he said unto them having been commanded of God that they did walk uprightly uh, before God, imparting to one another both temporally and spiritually according to their needs and wants. And now, it came to pass that all this was done in Mormon. Yay! By the waters of Mormon. In the forest that was near the waters of Mormon. Yay! The place of Mormon. 
The waters of Mormon, the forest of Mormon. How beautiful are they to the eyes of them <laughs> who there come to the knowledge of their Redeemer. Yay! <laughs> and how blessed are they, for they shall sing t His praise forever. Yeah, take some chapstick with you. Or just get some preparation H and just apply that. Cut out the middle man. Praise him forever. <laughs> and these things were done in the borders of the land that they might not come to the knowledge of the king. That's the other Noah, the bad Noah. <laughs> not the drunken nudie. The king. It was, reminds me a lot of Ahab. But behold, it uh, came to pass. I missed that one. Uh, you know what? I don't want to open another beer just for that. Because I know there's a uh, one at the end. I'll edit this tomorrow. Uh. Oh, uh. it came to pass that the king, having discovered a movement among the people, sent his servants to watch them. Therefore. On the day that they were assembling themselves together to hear the words of the Lord, they were discovered unto the king. <coughs> and now the king said that Alma was stirring up the people to rebellion against him. Therefore, he sent his army to destroy them. I have to go lay down after this. And it came to pass that Alma and the people of the Lord were appraised of the coming of the king's army. Therefore, they took their tents and their families and departed into the wilderness. And they were in number about 450 souls. And that's the end of... Uh, chapter 18. I will see you guys in chapter 19. And I'm about a third of the way through this book. So, Let me know if you think I should do Pearl of Great Price and Doctrine of Covenants. I, I confess I've never read those two books. But I have them. I mean, this book was... A, you know, if even one person wants to watch it, I'll do it. Let me know. Peace the fuck out, people. Have a wonderful April Fool's Day. But I didn't do an April Fool's, so I guess it's, besides, it's uh, my birthday. I'm 51 today. So, another year has come to pass.